You have 6 seconds of this video right now if you wake up tomorrow morning with a rich kid lifestyle. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Just before this video does go on to start, shout out to the amazing people on screen right now. If you would like a shout out in a future video, all you have to do is comment hashtag VenomPlays. And make sure to comment that 2-3 times and hopefully you will get a shout out in a future video. Also be sure to check out my merch. My merch I'll leave it linked in the description down below as well in my about section on my YouTube. So definitely be sure to go check that out. Also, make sure to check out my community posts, so that way you stay up to date on all the latest stuff happening on the channel, whether it be giveaways, new videos, anything like that. Also, make sure to hit the join button beside the subscribe, so that way you're always kept up to date with the channel and what's all happening with it, and you will also get exclusive giveaways exclusively to the members. So definitely be sure to go check out the join button. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Make sure you watch the entire video so you don't miss a single step and you can hit the DM glitch every single time. Make sure to watch the whole video, so yeah. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the DM glitch still works, literally this thing cannot get patched. So what you need to do is simply have a bird and your online character shortlisted. Once you've got that, make your way over to an online session. From there, simply put on a parachute, as well as make your location set to last location. From there, hop in a car, and then simply go to a time trial, and then start that time trial up. Once you've started up, quickly go to story mode like you did see in the gameplay. Now, when you actually do in fact load into story mode, you just want to walk around for a couple of seconds. Now when you actually do load into story mode, like I said, walk around for a couple of seconds and then from there pull up your interaction menu. Now when you do in fact have your interaction menu pulled up, go down to director mode. When you're actually in director mode, this is where you actually need it, your online character and your bird shortlisted. When you have both of them things, both shortlisted, simply go to shortlist actors. When you're in shortlist to actors, simply go up and down between your bird and your online character. Now, this is where you want to actually put a rubber band around your controller. So this will actually enable the birds to fully duplicate, meaning you don't have to hold your controller for about 20 to 30 minutes for the birds to fully duplicate, meaning your online character will in fact go to the hay bale. When your online character does go onto the hay bale, you want to literally keep going to make sure the online character does in fact not go back to the trailer. So once your character does in fact go on top of the hay bale, like you will see in the gameplay, you want to make sure he doesn't glitch back over to the actual trailer itself. So then, for me, the guy, my character did in fact not actually go back to the actual trailer, so from there, go ahead and delete either the bird or online character. I've done it both ways and this glitch still works, either way. So for me, I did in fact delete the online character. Now from there, when you actually go to beach bums, 
you could possibly see model outfits when you press X in appearance, or you could see default characters like I have. The simple fix for this, go to actors, go to recently used, and then from there, go between your bird and your online character. Now, what you want to do from there is simply just repeat this process a couple of times for your online character to actually go back to the hay bale, and then you will actually not have that problem of your characters turning back to the basic characters. So, I've seen that other people had this issue with sometimes where their character actually did turn back to default, so that's a simple fix for that. From there, once you've got online outfits to actually show as glitched outfits, you know you've done this correctly. From there, just continue to press X on appearance until you find an outfit you do like with a Christmas mask. So, Blacklisted Clothing, you don't want to actually have beast hands, and you also don't want to have Christmas clothing. It must just have a Christmas mask on for it to actually fully work. Now, when you find an outfit you do like with a Christmas mask, go ahead and shortlist that outfit. From there, simply just enter director mode with that shortlist outfit. Now, in director mode, simply wait a couple of seconds, and then from there, pull up your wheel and actually go to any story mode character. From there, simply go into story mode. When in story mode, you will see you still have the outfit on your character. From there, simply go to start, go to online, and start up an invite only session. And then just like that, as you will see, I do in fact have the outfit online. Now from there, go ahead and save the outfit and you're done. So yeah, I hope you did go to enjoy it. Be sure to drop a like if you did and subscribe if you are new. 
And remember to turn on that bell icon so you never miss a future video I do go ahead and upload. And yeah, Venom Play signing out. Peace. Thank you.